posting on the mat. One, withdrawing, two. Now from here, all that's gonna happen is Liam is gonna look to do a grip break where he just pulls his hand back, stripping the grip. The second this happens, I'm coming up, he's gonna look to follow me. I walk the hands back, he's gonna be connected in like so. From here, Liam's gonna look to go to a Kusoto block where he brings his two knees in, he kind of pinches and he just moves me forward where my head is, collapses me into the mat. So off of this reaction, we're here, we got to our grip, we extended, he pulls it back, I pull up, we're on the feet. As he comes in, I'm gonna look to get an over grip like so. The second he brings me to the mat, one, two punch. As we're doing this, and I'm in a straight line with Liam, I'm going to move my two feet and get teed up. From there, I'm gonna kick and extend, covering over my partner. Then from there, you guys can obviously switch the drill. One more time. Coming in, walking in the spring. Elbow, one, two, second he strips, walking, one, two. Now as he goes and he blocks, I know the direction he's going. I make sure I get my over grip behind the knee, elbow deep. As he looks to come through, one, two, we pause. Now I want to get my two feet teed up to Liam. The second I do this, I'm going to shoot my knees. It's important that my knees are curled up here in a ball, and then I kick and I pass this off. One, two, and I cover. All right, guys, we're going to get into some examples of me using the technique. First off, we have an initial Granby attempt, followed by me grabbing the leg and getting a cross body Granby roll for the finish. Now, we have an attempt where I didn't quite get my hips over Luis, so I have to push off and then just come up to a standing position. And now here, this is a good attempt where I was able to get up, I was able to get the right feed, but I wasn't able to get across the body, so I settled for inside position on the legs and it worked out. Another pretty similar example, I just wasn't fed uh, the right kind of takedown here where I just open up my legs and I get to kind of an outside Ashi roll. Now here, uh, finally, we have a counter to a crab ride from a high-level wrestler. If you guys want to support the channel, check out Don't Be a Sitting Duck and Ducks in Flight on BJJ Fanatics. Or you can comment and subscribe for more content.